slightly put on the play spot here. I suppose I feel a bit like a dad at a wedding, you know, you get to make the speech and pay for the party. You know? <laughs> um, but I, obviously we didn't just pay for the party, and I think the interesting thing about this project is that it encapsulates what the lottery is all about, and particularly the Heritage Lottery Fund. There are some very, very big numbers that are involved in the Heritage Lottery Fund, um, and I'll just run some of them by you. In the, since we were created, we have actually uh, divvied out £4.4 billion pounds worth of your money, not our money, it's your money, uh, on 38,500 projects. So the big ones get the uh, headlines, and actually the little ones often don't get the headlines, but are, as far as we're concerned, every bit as important. We've got three uh, objectives with the funding that we have to decide how it gets spent. And so every application that comes in gets judged against three real ob ob objectives. Um, it does it involve conservation. Well, this one obviously does involve conservation because it's, it's highlighting the architecture, the place of Faversham and so forth, and helping people to understand it better and, and, and respect it and be able to recognise what's important and what perhaps is not quite so important and for the future. Um, uh, the, uh, sec the second one um, is obviously uh, uh, community. Well, I can see that there are a number of people around here from all sorts of different parts of the community. So this project's already working, and I know you wanted to do more in the community, and I'm sure you will, uh, but it's actually already engaging the community. Uh, and that leads us on to the third aspect, which is actually participation. So we look to see whether projects involve people uh, and what sort of people and how many people. And that's really, really important from our point of view. Because the more people that are actually involved in heritage, rather than seeing it as this sort of dusty old museum thing, uh, but actually are actually engaged in it. We all live in it. We all we surround ourselves by it. Uh, but we often don't understand it. And actually through understanding our heritage, we start to develop roots, we start to develop an understanding of our place in society, and it actually has a really, really big really impact. So I'm very pleased, thank you very much indeed for inviting me along. It's lovely to be able to come and see, see these projects in, in existence, after you've seen them on paper, with lots of figures and people's names that you don't know attached to them, and we have to sort of figure out, well, is this a good one or isn't it a good one? But the, the interesting thing about having that big pot of money out there, we, we, I would encourage everybody to look at our website, hlf.org.uk, to see whether they might be at, um, uh, uh, they have a project which might be suitable for funding as well. But the interesting thing is when there's a big pot of money out there, it makes people be creative. And this one in particular is creative. And we like to see good, fun, interesting, dynamic projects that involve lots of people and actually have heritage at the heart. So thank you very much indeed.